Well, they cleaned a couple of these rabbits up and threw them in here for me to cook while they went back out and do some more hunting. I guess they expect me to do all the work. <laughs> Today we're going to do a old recipe that my grandmother liked. It was a fried rabbit fricassee. Now what a fricassee is, is just fried meat cooked in a white gravy or a white sauce. And the way we're going to do that is milk, shortening, some flour, I got a little mirepoix here, which is carrot, celery, onion. My grandma's secret ingredient, evaporated milk. Now I got one rabbit broke down already, setting in the milk, soaking, and I'm gonna show you how to break down the other. First, spread him open, pop him, and you just fold the joints. After you get the back legs off, I'm going to go up here and right below the rib cage. I'm going to take this, pop it. Now you got the rib cage and the front shoulders. Pop it down there through the center. Take it. You're going to bust them ribs along the spine. Take your knife cleaver. You could even have shears if you want it. Pop it down through there. One, two, three, four. That there's my mama's favorite piece, the back meat. Now if you try to grab that out of the pile at my mama's house, you might lose a finger. Get six pieces out of a rabbit. Now that we got it cut up, we're gonna soak it in our milk. Usually let that soak about an hour, just kinda draws some of the blood out. You can do it overnight, doesn't matter. We're gonna get our electric skillet going. It's pretty hot now, so I'm going to go ahead and add some shortening to it. Just need enough to cover the bottom pan and do some frying with. Not too much. Ho! Oh! Yeah. Now that our pan's hot, we're going to go ahead and batter these babies up and fry them. Now, if you want them extra crispy, do this twice. Got a milk and egg whites in here. Kind of helps the batter stick a little bit or flour. Dump them in there. We've got a few pieces floured up here. You, what you do next is you kind of shake the excess off. And you lay it right down in hot grease. Oh, baby. Now we're not going to mess with this now we got them in there for a minute. We're just going to let them cook. We're trying to get that golden brown and delicious, that GB and D. Flip it over do the same thing on the other side. Probably four to five minutes. If it ain't quite done, just leave them down there a little longer. <laughs> now that we got all the rabbit fried up, we're going to get rid of our excess grease. Try to save them crusties if you can. They're good. We'll leave all that sook in the bottom now. If you've seen any of my shows, that's all flavor, baby. Now we're going to put our... Wrap it back in. Before we get the pan completely full of rabbit, I'm going to go ahead and throw some of this mirepoil in here. Freshen it up a little. Just kind of cook it there in the center. Let that cook down a little bit. Sure is smelling good. <laughs> now that our mirepoil is cooked down a little, we're going to go ahead and cover it up with some more rabbit. Come in with your evaporated milk. You're going to want enough of this to come all the way almost to the top of it. That was just about four cups of evaporated milk. You're going to go ahead and turn your skillet or whatever you're using. You can do this in a Dutch oven on a fire or on the stove, whatever. I got an electric skillet here, so I got to turn it up. Now that we got it to a pretty rigorous boil, we're going to reduce the heat, let it come down to a simmer. We're talking about 300 probably. And we're going to go ahead and put the lid on. Now at this point, all you got to do is hurry up and wait. Let her just sit in there and simmer. Probably take an hour or so for the sauce to thicken up and your meat to get tender. It'll be falling off the bone. I'll be back in an hour. <laughs> This has been on for about an hour now. We're going to go ahead and plate it up and see what it tastes like. A couple big old pieces here. Got a hind quarter. 
Where's that back at? Mama ain't here, so I'm gonna slide in there and slip one of her backs out. Piece of back meat right here. Get some of this stuff. Try and drill it on there. Mm. That brings back a lot of memories hunting and cooking rabbits with grandma. Till next time, I'm Chef Aaron Neal. This is Rabbit Fricassee. Good luck and good hunting.